Hello everyone, and welcome to Recap V. Today we'll be talking about an American science fiction action movie called The Atom Project. The Atom Project came out in 2022 and is directed by Sean Levy from a screenplay written by Jonathan Tropper, T.S. Nolan, Jennifer Flackett, and Mark Levin. Watch out for spoilers and let us begin. The movie starts off in 2050 where we see fighter pilot Adam Reed stealing a jet, and then opening up a wormhole and going through it. After this, we are sent to the present time 2022, where we see a young Adam running away from some bullies, Ray, and Chuck. They manage to catch up to him, beat him, and then we see him waiting outside the principal's office where his mother angrily shows up and then goes inside the office, where she starts shouting at the principal because they are suspending Adam and not the bullies. Then we see them at home, after this Adam's mother goes on a date, while he starts playing some video games. But as he is playing the power goes off. He starts going outside to check what has happened, and as he is walking he spots some trees that look like they were burned, he gets scared and starts running back, then his dog starts running and goes to his dad's garage, and when he follows in, he finds his future self wounded. He is scared but his future self calms him down, then Adam from the future goes inside the house, trying to get stuff to heal his wound. After this, his future self calls Adam by his name, and because of this, the now Adam asks how he knows his name. So the future Adam explains to him that he is him from the future. Okay so it's gonna be hard to explain the story this way, so from now on we'll call Adam from the future Adam 1 and the other Adam, Adam 2. Adam 2 gets surprised but soon comes to terms with it. After this, they go to the forest, where Adam 1 explains that he needed to land in 2018 not 2022 and that he was going on a rescue mission. Then Adam 1 explains to him that he needs the boy, to get the jet running, because the jet is coded to their DNA, and because he is wounded, it doesn't let him, but it will let the boy. The jet then appears, and they go inside. Adam 1 then puts the jet to repair itself, which he states that is, probably going to take as much time as he heals. After this, the boy asks Adam 1 if he remembers this happening to him as well when he was a boy, or does the timeline work like a multiverse? But then Adam 1 explains that when he goes back to his time, everything goes back to how it was, and that the boy's memories will reform, but not while he is here, which he called it the fixed time. But he also explains that if you mess too much with it, it might mess up the future. They go back to the garage, and Adam 1 goes to sleep. The next morning after their mother goes to work, Adam 2 goes to the garage, and then they go to take some of their father's clothes for Adam 1 to wear, and go to the drugstore to buy some medicine. Adam 1 goes to the store, but while Adam 2 is waiting outside, the two bullies show up and start beating Adam again. But then Adam 1 shows up laughing, and then takes Adam 2 and convinces him to fight the bullies. Ray and Adam start to fight, but Adam loses and gets beaten, so he starts crying and runs away. After this Adam 1 grabs Ray, and starts threatening him, making him pee his pants. Then when Adam 1 goes home, he finds Adam 2 hiding in the garage, he is angry at what happened, and then asks about a woman in a picture he finds in Adam's one stuff. Adam 1 explains that that's his wife. And also tells him that she is no longer alive. After this we see their mother going to a bar, and we also see Adam 1 there. The barkeeper and her talk about their kids, and she talks about how Adam is, and blames herself. After this, Adam interferes and they have a small laugh from his eavesdropping. Then, he tells her that she is doing nothing wrong and that she needs to tell the boy that she is grieving too. Then before leaving Adam tells her that the boy loves her, and that he doesn't hate her. After this we see both Adams eating, Adam too asks about their wife, and he explains that her jet broke up on re-entry, and that it doesn't make sense, because she was the best pilot, and even wrote the book on re-entry. And now he wants to go to 2018, to find her, because that's where she went before. And also says, that she probably saw something sorry and didn't want her to see. The kid is then surprised by that name, and asks if Sorian is the partner their dad used to work with. Then Adam 1 explains that after their dad died she got rich from his tech, which was time travel. And the kid is then surprised that their dad is actually the one that invented time travel. But Adam 1 also explains that he invented time travel by accident, from the magnetic particle accelerator, which was called the Adams Project. But as they are talking, they start getting attacked. Adam 1 manages to beat some of the attackers. But in the end, a time jet shows up, and inside is Sorian, 
she asks Adam one to go home, to which he simply replies by saying no. So then she orders Christos, to escort him to 2050, and the man then starts beating on Adam 1, but as that is happening, the time jet gets hit, and then we see that the one attacking it is his wife Laura. Adam and Laura start beating some of the men, and then they start running away with a car. The others follow behind them trying to capture them, but they are soon taken down by Adam and Laura. Then the jet starts to flee, but Laura explains that is going to regroup and it will come for them again. Laura then explains that she had escaped an assassination attempt on her and was left stranded in the past. She had also learned that Sorian had traveled back in time, and altered the past in order to give herself control of time travel. Laura then urges Adam to travel back to 2018 and destroy time travel, at first he doesn't agree to do this, since they meet at the program. But after this, an alarm goes off, and we see that Christos is back to attack them. Laura then manages to convince Adam to go back in time and destroy time travel, so the two Adams rush in the car, to go to the jet. While Laura stays back to buy them some time, she manages to buy them enough time to escape and go back in time, but she is killed in the process. After this, we are sent in 2018, where we see their father in his class, then he gives a quote that the Romans used to say, but then Adam interferes, and says that a singer said that, in one of his songs, in 1949. The man agrees to this, but points out that the Romans also used to say it back in the day. Then his father asks Adam if he has seen him somewhere before, and then the class ends. After the students leave, the man recognizes his son, and then Adam too appears and goes to hug his father. He is surprised to see his son, now two of them, in different ages and different times, and then asks if this is time travel. Then we see them outside and he is scolding Adam 1 for going back in time and messing with the past. Things start to get out of control, and then Adam punches his dad. He does the same to his son, and then they calm down. Adam 1 then explains that time is already messed up, and that Sorian is the reason. And also explains to him that his project, the Adam Project, is the reason time travel exists. After this, we see Sorian in 2018 warning her past self about Adam. We'll also call Sorian from the future Sorian 1, and Sorian from the past Sorian 2. Then we see both Adams going to destroy the electromagnetic accelerator. Adam 1 walks right at the front door, and he is greeted by some of Sorian's men. While we see Adam 2 controlling a drone, which he uses to attack the men. After this Adam 1 starts fighting the ones that are left, and then two cars appear, going at high speeds trying to hit Adam 1. Adam 2 manages to take down one of them, but the other passes through, and as is about to hit Adam 1, their father manages to hit the car from the side, and save Adam 1. Then Adam 1 and his father, go inside, and his father explains that they don't need to destroy the electromagnetic accelerator, instead, they should retrieve the hard drive containing the only copy of his algorithm that enables time travel. After this, we see Adam 2 playing with the drone, and behind him, a jet appears, but then the scene cuts. And we are sent to Adam 1 and his father now inside the electromagnetic accelerator. And as soon as they take the hard drive out, both Saurians come in. Saurian 1 asks Adam to give her the drive, but he again, simply replies by saying, no. She said she know he would say that, and then brings Adam 2 in, and points a gun at him. Everyone starts to panic because he still acts like he doesn't care, but then gives Adam 2 a wink. Adam 2 understands and moves the gun out of his head. Because of this, Sorian shoots, and the shot lands at the electromagnetic accelerator. Every magnetic material, starts to get pushed towards it, along with some of Sorian's man. Adam and Christos start fighting, but in the end, Christos gets hit by the door that breaks down, and thrown at the magnet, killing him. Sorian then points a gun at Adam's father, and asks him to give the drive or she will shoot him. Their father doesn't agree to it, and when she shoots, the magnetic field accelerator diverts the round, causing it to kill the younger Saurian, erasing the future Saurian from existence. After this, both Adams, and their father manage to escape before lockdown, and go home. Their both Adams want to tell their father about his death. But their father chooses not to learn of his own fate, and enjoys a game of catch with both versions of his son, before the Adams are returned to their own times. In 2022, Adam lets go of his bitterness, and anger and reconciles with his mother, 
with whom he has been distant ever since his father's death. Years later, a much happier adult Adam, meets Laura for the first time in a situation mirroring their first meeting in the original timeline. And this is where the movie ends, hope you all enjoyed this recap, make sure to give it a like, comment on what you think about it, and don't forget to subscribe so I can make more recaps of movies, TV shows, animes, etc. See you all, on the next video.